I suggest watching the entirety of this video before giving this a go yourself. Also, please check the pinned comment in case I've made any mistakes or forgotten something. Also, this tutorial is for the PC Steam version of Pavlov. If you are looking to make maps for Pavlov Shack, this is not the right tutorial. Another thing that should be mentioned is that as of update 29, Pavlov is no longer using the Steam Workshop. Although the Steam Workshop is still present on Pavlov's Steam page, this is only for the Legacy branch. You will need Windows 10 or 11, Steam with Pavlov installed, Unreal Engine 5.1.1, the Epic Games Launcher, and you may need internet connection. Once you are logged into the Epic Games Launcher, go to Add Engine. Make sure the installation options are the following. Starter Content, Engine Source, and Linux. While that's installing, go to the GitHub link in the description of this video, and you can find the mod kit. You will also need to make a mod.io account. You can log in with either Steam or Google, or just make a fresh account which isn't linked to anything. Once you have done all of that, you will want to extract the mod kit into a location of your choosing. However, I highly suggest you put it somewhere you are not going to either lose it or delete it accidentally. Once you have extracted the mod kit, open up the Pavlov VR mod kit 5.1.1 folder, and then open the pavlov.u project. This will open up Unreal Engine 5, assuming you have it installed. Once you are in the mod kit, you want to go to the Pavlov Workshop tab, Account, and log into your mod.io account. Once you have logged in, go to Create Mod, and then type in the name of your mod and its summary, then hit Create. Now, when you go back to your plugins folder, you will see you have a new folder called UGC and then a string of numbers. This is your mods folder. Everything inside this folder will be uploaded to mod.io. Do not move this definition file or edit the name of your UGC, otherwise you will not be able to upload the mod and it will be broken. So, to make the actual map, I'm going to right click, click level, and then name it whatever I want. I'm going to name it test map. Then I'm going to want to save all. Before I open this level, I'm going to go to the plugins folder, custom map tools content, and open up the mod example map. Inside the mod example map, I'm going to select skylight, directional light, and the sky sphere, then control C to copy. Then go back to the plugins folder and your UGC and open up the level you just created. Then you want to control V to paste. Next, go to where it says Selection Mode, click the drop-down, and select Landscape. You then want to create a landscape, however large you want. Pavlov does not currently support dynamic lighting, so all of the lights have to be static. On the left of your screen, you want to search up Reflection, and you want to drag a Sphere Reflection Capture into your level, and make sure it encompasses the entire play area. Next, you want to search for kill and drag a Pavlov underscore kill volume into your level. Expand this volume so it covers the entire play area of your map and then place it underneath it. This is in case anyone glitches through the floor, they will automatically be killed by this instead of having to manually click suicide. Now, probably the most important thing you need to do now is search for game and find Pavlov Game Logic and drag this into your level. Once the UGC is in your level, you want to set the definition to the definition that's in your UGC. Then go to Global Info Class, set this to Pavlov underscore Global Info. Then for Player Info Class, set this to Pavlov underscore Player Info. And for Player Proxy Class, 
set this to Pavlov underscore player proxy. Now, for the player spawns, I'm going to search up spawn, and I'm going to select Pavlov spawn, and drag this into the level. For blue team, you want to set the team ID to zero, and we're going to duplicate this, and set the team ID to one for red team. You can also set the team ID to minus one, meaning it will be neutral. So either team can use this as a spawn point. If you want to add a thumbnail to your mod, you must make sure the image is 512 by 288 pixels. Now open up your definition file and you want to set the map to the map you've made in your UGC. And you can set any compatibility tags for what game modes you want your map to be compatible with. And if you would like your map to have a thumbnail, you can set that where it says thumbnail. Make sure to set your map's name in the UGC as well, otherwise it'll appear as my map in game. Now you want to click save all to assure that everything inside your UGC has been saved. Now your mod should be ready to upload. Go to the Pavlov Workshop tab, click on the drop down, and select your UGC's number. Then click Windows and Upload. Do bear in mind your first time uploading a mod will be significantly longer than any other time you upload that same mod. Now that your mod is uploaded, you want to return to mod.io, click on your profile in the top right corner, and go to My Library. Scroll down until you find your mod, and then you want to click Edit. Here you can edit how your mod appears on mod.io. The only part of this page which affects how your mod appears in game is the summary. This will appear when you click on your mod in the mod browser. The thumbnail for mod.io is separate to the one that will appear in game. The last thing left to do before you can test your map in game is to just hit go live. Now your mod is public. Once in Pavlov, go to the mod browser, find your map and download it. I suggest testing your map on Team Deathmatch. And, as you can see, it's all worked. If you require any additional assistance with modding Pavlov, I suggest joining the official Pavlov Discord and asking in one of the modding channels. If you found this video informative or helpful, a subscription would be appreciated.